uh, we know that the, the uh, vector valued function of one uh, parameter t uh, describe a uh, space curve. This curve called par param parametric curve. That is r equals r t. When t uh, varies, uh, varies uh, throughout uh, its domain, then the tip of the uh, vector function uh, traces out uh, trace, traces out a um, space curve. Uh, similarly, we have parametric surface. It's a vector. Uh, it's a, a vector function of two parameters, u v. If u v is uh, u, uh, if u v are on the domain in the u v plane, then when u v When u v varies throughout d, uh, and the the, the tip or the endpoint of the uh, vector function traces out a surface, we call this a parametric surface. <coughs> That's the parametric uh, the, the definition of parametric surface. Uh, sometimes we write as, if we write in details, the R can be write as X, U, V, Y, U, V, and Z, Z U, V. That's the, that's the domain. And uh, because each point corresponds to a vector, in the space. So when uv varies uh, throughout d, it 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 traces out a surface in the space. That's r u v. Okay, that's the uh, parametric surface. For parametric surface, uh, is, mm, for for us the main uh, the main um, problem is how to find the parametric uh, parametric equation, or we call it the R U V, the parametric equation. Or, we or call this the surface S. And for we already know uh, the surface can be uh, described by a graph. It's a graph, by the graph of a uh, uh, two. Uh, a graph of functions of two variables, or depend, uh, or can be described as a function, uh, as an equation. This is called a level surface. But now, now we have the the third type of surfaces. That is R equals R U V. So the uh, main problem is how to change the the other types of surface to the uh, parametric uh, surfaces. That is how to uh, parametrization the how to parametrization the the curve described by other uh, by all other form. So the parametrization and 
for uh, the parametrization of a surface have uh, actually uh, not not unique. You can choose you can choose any uh, parameters you wish to describe the surface. There's many many uh, many many ways to uh, parametrization on the surface. Uh, let's see uh, some examples. Uh, find the parametrization of the corner C equals uh, square root x square plus y square, where C between zero and one we know that this uh, this is a graph the surface is described by a graph uh, for graph there is a nature uh, there's nature uh, parametrization that we that is we use x equals u y equals v then c equals gxy duv that is u square plus v square and where u square plus v square less than one that's the parametrization and um, for the graph the the, uh, the nature the nature parametrization just uh, just use the an uh, independent variable independent variables as parameters. Uh, there's other parametrization for this for this one. Maybe it's uh, it's easier to use some other parametrizations uh, because z equals square root. There's x square plus y square. Uh, the easier one is use x as rho cosine theta y equals rho sine theta then c equals rho because the uh, that's actually uh, that's actually like the uh, cylindrical coordinates and uh, Because it's it's cone, it's cone, and uh, theta can be right, uh, can can be uh, can be viewed as the uh, angle between the uh, projection to to the x-axis. So theta, because uh, the projection is uh, so, uh, so called, so theta is from 0 to 2 pi and uh, z equals rho so and z is between 0 and 1 so rho between 0 and 1 this parametrization may be um, more useful than, than the previous one uh, than previous one in some terms in, in some cases so the parametrization uh, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, depends on the uh, problem that we we are uh, deal with. That's the first example. The second example has find find a parametrization find a parametrization. of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equals a square for this uh, for the sphere this nature this nature parametrization that it first we use the spherical coordinates
that is uh, x equals r sine phi cosine theta y equals r uh, sine phi sine theta and z equals r cosine phi then in the sphere in this uh, or on the sphere r equals a so we insert this into the uh, uh, spherical co coordinates we have x equals a sine phi cosine theta uh, y equals a sine phi sine theta and c equals a cosine phi here uh, by the definition of phi and theta theta is from 0 to 2 pi and phi is from 0 to pi so the parametrization we can write as r equals r uh, theta phi that is a sine phi cosine theta a sine phi sine theta and a cosine phi or we can write uh, uh, that's that's the uh, coordinates uh, the coordinates or uh, form of the parametrization or we can write as uh, the vector form that is a sine phi cosine theta i plus a sine phi sine theta j plus a cosine phi k that's the parametrization for the uh, sphere and the, we uh, can look for the, the third example find or parametrization of cylinder x square plus y minus 3 square equals line z between 0 and 5 There's many uh, param uh, many forms, uh, many methods to parametrize uh, this parametrize as parametrize. There's many way to the parametrization for the cylinder. Okay, uh, the first one we use the cylindrical coordinates. Uh, like before, uh, like the, uh, the previous one used the spherical coordinates. That is x equals rho cosine theta, y equals rho sine theta, and uh, c equals c. But there's three variables and uh, we insert into the uh, into the equation of the cylinder x square plus y minus 3 square equals line can be changed we expand the bracket we have x square plus y square equals 6 so y and uh, use the cylindrical coordinates that is a rho square equals 6 rho sine theta so that we have rho equals 6 sine theta then we uh, insert the rho into the parametrization uh, into the cylindrical coordinates so we have x equals 6 sine theta cosine theta because rho is 6 sine theta y equals 6 sine theta square 
and z equals z. And uh, we simplify the first one. So that is x equals 3 sine 2 theta. y equals 6 sine theta square. z equals z. Where theta is from 0 to pi and uh, uh, z from 0 to 5. Why theta is from 0 to 2 pi? Because the, the projection of the uh, of the cylinder on the plane is this is this circle. We know that theta theta is the angle between the line with x axis. So the the uh, the small uh, the the small, smallest uh, value of theta is zero because it's on the x-axis and the last one is the, re and the uh, negative x-axis so the theta is from 0 to pi and the z is from 0 to 5 so we have the parametrization that is r equals r now we have only theta and z that is 3 sine 2 theta 6 sine theta square and z. That's the parametrization. Use cylindrical coordinates. But there's other uh, other method to, par uh, to to have the parametrization of the the cylinder. Uh, we know uh, from the equation we have x square plus y minus uh, 3 square, that is square plus square, addition of, uh, of two squares. So we have, we can use x as uh, 3 cosine t and uh, y minus 3 equals 3 sine t. This actually, uh, the square plus, uh, the addition of these two squares are uh, the, uh, is 9 and z equals z. Now we have x equals 3 cosine t, y equals 3 sine t plus 1 uh, and z equals z. Here t should from 0 to 2 pi and c is from 0 to 5. Uh, what is this t? What is the, the geometric meaning of this t? Because in the x, y plane, the, the, this is uh, the projection of the cil uh, cylinder onto the x, y plane. Now we have y minus 3 equals 3 sine t. x equals equals 3 cosine t. So actually we start from the uh, the, uh, the center the center of the, uh, the circle and we use this is uh, parallel to x-axis the di di diameter diameter line parallel to x-axis. Now t is actually this angle So y y is y is three three plus uh, three times sine t. So this uh, this uh, uh, coordinates of y uh, this this uh, this line have the length 3 and plus this type, this part, this part is 3 sine t. So the t, uh, there's ge geometric meaning of t, that t is this angle. Okay, that's uh, parametrization of surfaces. For each surface, there's many, many ways to uh, 
to uh, repair matrix Z. Okay, the uh, last uh, the last uh, one is the tangent plane. Oh, parametric, parametric, parametric surface. Uh, we know that the tangent plane. The tangent plane is the uh, the tangent plane of the surface at this at some at uh, some point is a all uh, tangent uh, all tangent lines of uh, curves uh, passing through this point. Uh, but tangent plane can be determined by two uh, vectors by two independent vectors. Now we choose special two special curves. Two special curves. If we choose the uh, two special curves, that is, uh, you uh, this is two space curve. U equals U not and uh, v equals v naught at constant x naught y naught z naught is correspond to u naught and v naught at u equals u naught then r equals u naught v so it's tangent uh, it's tangent uh, vector uh, when u is fixed, then and um, the r u v is uh, a vector value of one parameter v. So its tangent vector is actually the tangent vector of space curve. So its tangent vector just r v at this point as u not v not. Uh, maybe this at u not v not at this point, and uh, for another curve v equals v not, so r actually is u and v not is uh, one parameter vector value function, so its tangent its tangent vector is r v at this point. So the uh, normal vector of normal vector of tangent plane can can be chosen as and the cross product R U cross rv at this point so the equation of tangent uh, uh, equation of ten uh, of tangent uh, plane that is can be right as x minus x naught y minus y naught and z minus z naught uh, dot product r u cross r v equals zero that's the tangent plane uh, using the uh, point loma and uh, this is point loma equation let's see an example Mm, find the equation of tangent plane of a surface. A surface has a parametrization 
r u v equals u square v square u plus 2v at point 1, 1, and uh, 3. So the first we need to find R U and R V. Uh, and this point is corresponds to U equals 1 and V equals 1. And uh, R U equals 2u0 1 and rv is rv is 0 2v and uh, 2 so at this point are you at this point that's 2 0 1 and rv at this point is 0, 2, and 2. So RU cross RV at this point, that is I, J, K, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, 2. That's actually uh, negative 2i um, min minus 4j uh, plus uh, 4k. So we can choose the normal vector can be written uh, can uh, can be choose as negative 2, negative 4, and 4. And we can divide. Actually, we can divide the uh, the RU cross RV by negative 2, then we have uh, 1, 2, and negative 2. It's the reverse direction of RU cross RV, but uh, it's parallel. Actually, actually, it's parallel to RU cross RV. It's, uh, the, N, and the N is still uh, perpendicular to the uh, tangent plane. So the tangent, uh, the equation of tangent plane at one one three is an x minus one plus two y minus one. Uh, minus 2 z minus 3 equals 0 and simplify that is x plus 2 y minus uh, minus 2 z plus 3 equals 0 that's the tangent plane at this point <coughs>